Hello, hello, Amy here with Profile Swag. So this month we did our New Year's design. Super excited about this one. I know I say that every month, but I'm always excited about swag, guys. So let's get into what's in your swag bag this month. Okay, to get started, we've got our New Year's pasties. So I always see these clocks on nails and I just love the look of it, but I know I don't have time to paint something like this in the salon. So the pasties are a really great way to get some cool, clean designs on the nails um, and they stick really well. You're not gonna have any peeling problems. And so we did a custom New Year's pasty for you. And next we've got a metallic glitter bomb. Y'all love these glitter bombs so much. So do I. Makes my life so much easier in the salon. Um, this one's called Poppin' Bottles. And like I said, it's a great champagne gold. You guys will get a ton of use for this even after this holiday. But it is a metallic, so it's not got that holographic look to it. Lays really flat. Just a beautiful gel polish. All right, so next we've got our staples here, our Black Magic and our Magic Mat. The Black Magic has been reformulated with this new collection of magic colors. So you all will see that there is no wrinkling, no curing issues. It's a pleasure to work with. And then we've got our Profiles Liner Brush. This is just a really easy go-to brush. This is great for lines, fine art, it's definitely a profile's favorite. And then last, I thought this was something really fun. One of my suppliers sent this to me and I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely going in December swag. So this is just a ink stamper. So you'll use this like on paper. Um, I'm a doodler, so I love to doodle and create nail designs, but this is also great if you do professionally like to set up your next nail designs or just maybe show a client what kind of design you're putting on them. You just stamp this on regular paper and you can draw on it. You can also put it on kind of like laminated paper and practice nail art and display it for your clients. So I just thought this was a fun, cool little thing, and I hope you guys like it as much as I did. All right, so let's get into our design. We're gonna start with the glitter bomb, and I'm just gonna go over just a basic application for the glitter bomb gel polish. These are meant for a one coat. You don't need a color underneath it. You might notice like your first, you know, few swipes feel like you didn't get good coverage. Just go over it a couple times and the glitter will start to spread out and give you a really good full coverage. It will also lay very flat and then we're curing this for a full 60 seconds. And when that comes out of the light, we're just going to top coat this with a no wipe top. You can do this with matte if you want to, but it kind of kills the sparkle. So I am just putting a glossy top coat on top. All right, for the next nail, we're going to do this one right here. And for the picture, you guys already know, I probably chose Undercover Agent because it's my favorite. But I have already swatched the tip for this one. And I put one coat of, I believe this is birthday suit, which is like a nice dark nude. Now we're gonna take the glitter bomb gel polish and we are just going to cover the tip area with that. And then I'm going to use the liner brush that came in your kit to kind of pull that back a little bit to give it that ombre. And then use your trusty old finger to kind of spread that glitter back just a little bit more. The good thing is, the glitter bomb ombres and kind of fades really, really well because it's got that texture to it. So once you're happy with that, we're gonna go ahead and cure this for about 30 seconds. Okay, once that comes out of the light, we are gonna wipe off any tacky layer. Whenever you're using your decals, you wanna make sure that there's no tacky layer left on top. And that's because sticky doesn't go well with sticky. So we want to make sure that the top of that nail surface is not sticky. 
All right, from here, we're just grabbing the decal that we want. I usually kind of bend the backing and just use my tweezers and kind of peel it off. Just be careful. Sometimes when you go to grab, if your tweezers aren't real sharp, it'll kind of bend the decal. So once we've got that off, we're just going to place it on where we want and press. Now we're going to grab a white one and we're going to do the same thing. As you can see, I'm working with super clean, sharp tweezers right now. Ha! Just wait till you see my scissors later. <laughs> okay, so that's perfect. We're going to take one more of the white firecracker there and we're going to put it on the side. Now, if your decals hang off the side of the nail, it's super easy. I mean, basically just put it on there and then we're going to take a file and we're going to, going to just file off the excess. These decals are so, so thin. You really don't have to worry about it um, peeling or anything like that. It's just you want to make sure you angle your file a little bit so the top coat kind of goes over the edge of the decal so it's not like sticking out of the side of the nail. And also important that you're filing downwards and not upwards. Upwards is going to pull the decal up and allow dust underneath there. Downwards will just kind of perforate it enough that you can just pull and separate whatever's hanging over the edge. Okay, from here we are good for top coat. So I'm just going in with super top and we are just going to coat this and cure this for a full 60 seconds. Okay, so the Black Magic, like I mentioned earlier, this has been reformulated, so there will be no curing issues, no wrinkling or anything like that. It is still a one coat coverage, as you can see, and we're just going to cure this for a full 60 seconds. And we're going to do this on another nail because we're going to do two black nails. And again, you guys can see about product consistency here, how much I'm using. I'm getting a nice full coverage. And I will show you guys when this comes out of the light how well this cures. And if you've worked with any of the new Magic Colors, it really is amazing how well coverage you get. And this just saves you so much time in the salon for all these staple colors that we're using under all of our art. Okay, this is out of the light. We are going to take the tacky layer off because we're going to be using the pasties decals again. You can see when you wipe it, the inhibition layer does have some pigment in it. But once we wipe all that off, you can see we've got a nice smooth application, no wrinkling, nothing that didn't cure, nice and even. So again, just take that tacky layer off and make sure all that sticky is gone. All right, we're gonna start with the clock nail. So we're gonna grab our decals and we're gonna peel that clock off with our nice new sharp tweezers here. And we're gonna place this right up in the corner. Hold on, I gotta make sure I am at the right time. Okay, so we're gonna place this right up in the corner of the nail. And I am gonna have a little bit of decal hanging over the very edge. Now these tip sticks are a little bit more curved back there than a client's real nail would be. So for this decal, I'm going to just take my file and kind of run it around the edge and get rid of all that extra hangover that I have here. But obviously if you were working on a real finger, you really can't get your file in to do the job there. So what I would do is take a um, e-file bit and I would kind of clean it up that way. I would probably choose the lily bit, which is a very small carbide bit, or I would choose like one of our cuticle bits, um, the pansy or the poppy, and that would probably do the job as well. 
but I do think I would top coat or matte top coat that decal first just to protect it from scratching or pulling away or anything. Okay, I'm gonna go back onto the decal sheet and I'm gonna grab the streamers the in the white color. And we're gonna take this and we're going to, it's kind of long, so we're gonna cut this in half. And I told y'all I couldn't find my nice scissors, so listen, I grabbed what I could. And I've got my nice craft scissors here. Did the job. So we just cut this in half. One will be longer than the other, and we're just gonna place those down so they look like they're falling from the clock. And you're just gonna place and again press. Okay, so now that looks perfect and we're gonna take our matte top coat and we're gonna cover the entire nail. And then we're gonna cure this for 60 seconds. All right, while that's curing, we're gonna go back onto the decal sheet and we're gonna grab some white wine glasses and we're gonna place those at the bottom of the last nail. Again, they're kind of hard to see on these sheets, but when you see it in person, you'll be able to see the designs on there. So go ahead and peel those off and place and press onto your last black nail. And then because these nails are a little bit longer than what I did for the swag card, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the glitter bomb that was in your swag bag, and I'm gonna take this little applicator that I usually use for chrome, and I'm gonna just make a little burst of it at the top of the nail up in the corner, and this will give a little smidge of glitter behind one of the fireworks and we're gonna place that right over top of it. I am going to cure this and wipe it so that there's no stickiness before I put my decal on. And then we're gonna place that firework right over the glitter press that down and now we're gonna to top this with matte top coat. And then we're curing for 60 seconds. All right, now this is out of the light and we're gonna take the glitter bomb and we're just gonna paint right inside of the wine glasses. You want to leave a little bit of a white line so it just looks like it's full of champagne. We're gonna do that to both of the glasses and then we'll put a few bubbles above the glasses and a little dot in the center of the firework. After that, we're curing for about 30 seconds. You can either leave this and wipe off the slight tacky layer that's on there or if you wanna give it a little bit more depth to it, you can go back over this with a glossy top coat. But either way is fine. And just to clarify, I mean just a little bit of glossy top coat over what you've painted with the glitter bomb, not over the entire nail. Okay, so while that's curing, I'm just taking some super top and I'm putting this on my palette right now. We are going to paint the super top over just the face of the clock. And we're gonna start by just outlining and just doing a nice thin coat over the entire face. Next, we'll go in with a nice dollop of top coat and by having that base layer that we created, that nice thin layer, it's gonna 
help keep it just in that area without flooding out. So I quickly wanted to get in this into the light so it didn't flood and it stays just where I want it. And you can give this a quick cure for like 20 to 30 seconds just so it kind of freezes in place. And now it's out of the light and you can see just that quick dollop on the top kind of melted around and it gives it a nice domed look. And I just, again, I've said this in many videos, I love the look of a glossy detail over a matte nail. And next we're taking the glitter bomb and we're just outlining the clock. I am again going to take that little chrome um, squeegee there and I'm just going to spread out the glitter a little bit and clean it up and then we're going to recure. And when you go back in for that final cure, make sure you're doing a full 60 seconds. So all of those splash cures that we did do will get that full final cure. Okay, so that will do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your December swag bag, and I hope you enjoyed the video. But I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for the support and the love over the last couple months. We've had a heck of a time at Profiles. You guys know, so I just want to let you know we appreciate you. Love you guys so much. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and a happy and safe New Year. And we will see you guys in 2023.